Thanks for coming. Welcome back to Bay Sunday. One in five patients with diabetic eye disease develops an eye condition called diabetic macular edema, or DME, which, if left untreated, can lead to blindness. There's a new breakthrough, however, treatment for patients suffering from DME. And here to tell us more about it is Dr. Ali Zaid, an ophthalmologist with the Pacific Eye Group in San Francisco, and his patient, Mohammed. Shrady, thanks for joining us here this morning. Thank so you, tell Kat. us a little bit more about this uh, disease that leads to blindness. So diabetes is a problem in the United States. About 25 million Americans are affected by diabetes. And of those, about 10 to 12 million will develop eye disease. And of those, about 20% will get diabetic macular edema. So Ken, if you look at the retina, you've got all these blood vessels that supply the blood to our retina. The sugars in our bloodstream from diabetes erode our blood vessels. Mm. So if you look at the blood vessels as pipes, diabetes damages the pipes, the pipes begin to leak, you get flooding. Just like you get in your house, water leaks. Mm -hmm. When the retina gets wet and flooded with fluid, you get blurry vision. Hard to read, hard to recognize people's faces, hard to read the baseball scores on a TV screen. Mm. So this is the problem with diabetic macular edema. Now, we for the 90s and forward, we had laser treatment, and we would burn the leaky blood vessels. But the laser treatment caused scars. The laser treatment didn't always work. And then in 2005, 2006, there was a big breakthrough. Right. We developed medications that we could inject into people's eyes for this disease. And we're going to take a look at some of that video. Explain to us what's happening and what the procedure is like as we take a look at some of these uh, sure. adventures here. What so do we have right there? What we have here is a cartridge that's being loaded up, and that's the point in the eye, about four millimeters back from where the cornea is. And there's the needle right there. And once the eye is numbed, mm -hmm. we measure where to place the injection. This looks very scary and ugly and <laughs> gross, but the eye is numb, and people actually barely feel the pain. And right. Mohammed can tell you more about that part of it. <laughs> so patients were getting these injections every one to two months for years and years and years. And they worked, mm -hmm. but coming into the doctor's office 10, 12 times a year is not a very pleasant experience. And the, and the injection is, is annoying and, and a little bit uncomfortable to have. Right. The big breakthrough with this drug called Illuvian is that with Illuvian you get one injection every three years. Right. So now patients don't have to go to their doctor quite as frequently, less discomfort involved. And, and how long is that entire procedure? Once we numb the eye, the procedure only takes a few seconds. Okay. So the whole, the whole procedure takes maybe 10 minutes to do. Right. But you gotta drive to the doctor's office, you gotta wait in the doctor's waiting room, you gotta have the procedure, then you gotta go home and recover from it. And it takes... And Mohammed, when did you get this procedure done? How are you feeling? Uh, you mean like when, uh, when the... Pr because uh, the thing is taking an appointment and go to the doctor every two months to take this procedure for injection have before the Olivia. This is very hustling or very painful, you know. Mm -hmm. But after, uh, when I took the Olivia injection, it became very, uh, it's, you, have, you don't, have, don't have to wait, I have to wait for three months, and it's so much better. Right. Mm. Dr. Zayi, tell us a little bit more about some of the people who are affected by this disease. There are, of course, diabetes one, two patients out there. Yes. Both? Both uh, types of diabetes can have eye disease and diabetic macular edema. So it doesn't really matter what kind you have. The problem with diabetes is it damages your eyes over time. So after about 5, 10, 15, 20 years, no matter what you have, type 1 or type 2, you could have this problem. Mm -hmm. And do you see this, this type of procedure spreading uh, across the country? How I mean, it's a fairly new development. So how quickly yes. do you think it is before most patients with this disease start getting this uh, treatment? So the treatment um, has been available since 2015. I started using it in 2016. I wanted to see how uh, the experience was out in the community. The challenge with this is not everybody is a good candidate for the procedure. So the two main side effects of this treatment are cataracts and glaucoma. So somebody like Muhammad has already had cataract surgery. He's not going to get cataracts again, so he was a good candidate. Muhammad also did not have any glaucoma problems, so he was a good candidate. All right. Well, gentlemen, thank you so much for uh, joining us here this morning on Bay Sunday. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ken. For more information about Illuvian, you can contact the Pacific Eye Associates, pacificeye.com. That's pacificeye.com. Don't go away. The stars of the new play, Row, will join us on Bay Sunday after this break.